everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Globe Talks of Trader series, where you can learn about the ins and outs of DeFi. So I'm your host Sunlight and today I'm delighted to welcome onto the show Antoine Love. Hi. Thanks a lot for hosting me. Absolutely. CEO and co-founder of Volk. So please watch on to find out about what the Volk USPs are and what problems they're solving for DeFi traders. So good morning, Antoine. How are you? Morning, Sunlight. I'm great. Thank you. So can you tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into the DeFi space? So first of all, uh, let's start from the beginning, right? I, I have a background in uh, traditional finance and in investment banking and private equity. Um, in particular, what I was focusing on is renewable energy infrastructure before I got into, into crypto and Web3. And um, three years ago, I met my co-founder, Eddie, who's a... Uh, a crypto engineer, product master, whatever you want <laughs> to, to call him, was like the most talented guy I've met on the, on the technical side. New crypto in and out, I'd been in the space for already a couple of years. And we started working together, created that company called Valk, initially focusing on a first product that we developed called Video, which was a tokenization platform uh, that we managed to scale to 110 banks using it. $5 billion worth of tokenized assets. And uh, product's still running, by the way, and doing great. But in 2021, um, looking at what was going on in the crypto markets and the DeFi markets, being DeFi traders ourselves and speaking regularly with hedge funds here in London and everywhere in the world, we realized that there was a lot to do to improve the infrastructure on DeFi for traders, right? And we very quickly started to map out you know, what we needed in order to be able to make better decisions and DeFi and better trades. And the first problem that we encountered was that there was a total lack of PNL reporting and data analytics tool in DeFi. So that's how we really started, you know, trying to solve a problem in the market that we were encountering and that other institutionals were encountering as well. We started building this tool called Merlin, which is now live which is basically your gateway to smart DeFi, starting by today, the fact that you can connect your wallet or copy paste it and instantly know if you've made or lost money in DeFi, which no one knows today, <laughs> and a lot of other you know, useful, useful things about you know, your positions and then the market in general very soon. Awesome, thank you. Right, you touched a little bit about Merlin earlier. Can you actually uh, um, expand on that? Absolutely. So what you have to remember about Merlin is that, you know, our end goal is to become a gateway to, to smart DeFi, right? To help people make better DeFi trading decisions and do them on the platform eventually. But what we're starting with is the main issue DeFi traders have today is that they have no idea how they've been performing in DeFi with our trades, right? So what we do today is that we allow any type of trader, whether it's you know you and me or an institutional, you know, with a fund or with any other kind of vehicle, to access our platform and our app, to copy paste their wallet or connect it, and to instantly get PL and US dollar of uh, all of their positions in DeFi, data about their historical transaction, calculations, like we get fees and permanent loss and everything you need to have proper reporting, right? This can be accessible either through the app, as I told you, or for bigger institutionals with API service. But today, and we launched, you know, very recently, less than a month ago, we've already started getting, you know, tens of thousands of, of, um, of uh, sessions already on the platform. The first institutional people coming in um, to, to get that service. Why? Because it's something that they need to do urgent, right? I mean, if you don't know what your PNL is, you have no idea how well you're trading. And also, it puts you at a legal and tax risk as well, not being able to properly report how much you've made or lost. So that's what we're focused on today with Merlin, right? The next step, because we've built this super unique analytics tool that I'm not going to bore uh, <laughs> the, the audience with on how we get that data, but we now sit on a gold mine of data and information about DeFi and use cases that we want to bring to the world and to all of these traders and even fans of DeFi out there, right? So, you know, after analyzing the information and giving you information about how you're trading, what we want to do is 
give you more information about the market itself, about this and that liquidity pool, their historical performance, allow you therefore to potentially, you know, backtest some of the strategies that you may want to have when you're trading in DeFi. Another really cool use case that, you know, people can, can, uh, can, will be able to enjoy soon is use all the data that we have and all of the information that we're getting out of Merlin to improve their risk analytics and their risk models, right? Understand what is systemic risk in this or that particular pool or opportunity and what are the other issues or opportunities associated with, with that. So we focus on data today. Priority goes on PNL and reporting. That's our bread and butter. That's what we do. That's how we help people. And tomorrow we want to add data analytics about the market, risk analytics, and many other things, right? And finally, but I imagine we'll touch upon that later, you know, once we manage to really serve and help our community, all the DeFi traders and everyone out there with first in class data, we also want to help them potentially with trading, right? Awesome. Yeah. So it seems like Volk is a one stop shop for anything that you need to analyze. Right, so you can make trading strategies from Volk? So this is definitely one of the possible end goals, right? But the idea here is the following. Why would you do a trading strategy and why would you propose it to the market when there are some out there and some people can create their own as well, right? Where we want to add superior value to people is thanks to the strength and the accuracy of the data we provide and of the analytics. So it goes this way. First, we focus, as I told you, on the reporting and, the, and PNL of people. So analytics at the wallet side, at the wallet level. Then we go to analytics at pool and market level and risk level. And then we want to use the best of this data and this analytics to potentially see other use cases, such as, as you said, trading strategies. But it's not any trading, trading strategy. It's going to be data-driven trading strategy. So we will always have to justify to the people that we propose the strategies, why do we use the strategy? Well, because we've analyzed this opportunity, this pool, these mechanics, you know, this lending or borrowing strategy or leverage strategy or arbitrage strategies, according to historical data that we have on this or that pool behavior or on these market dynamics. And this is why we think if you're looking for that type of risk adjusted return, you should use this DeFi strategy that we propose. So everything is always going to be taken from the data angle, right? We want to be the best in class in data for DeFi. And then we don't want to keep this for ourselves. We want to share it with other people and also share the use cases and the possibilities of that to traders. Honestly, as you can imagine, institutionals are going to be interested in that. But we also want everyday traders to be able to use these strategies. Why? because it's much more difficult when you don't have a team of quants, of structures, of coders to create these strategies yourself and do them on a systematic way by minimizing also the cost that it takes you and the systemic risk. So if we can you know, use all of these really cool tools that we built for institutionals and all of this really cool data that we have for them, package it in a simple way and in a safe way for everyday traders and let them make you know, more money, be more aware of the risk and not, you know, have some of the unlucky events that happened a few months ago, that'd be great. Yeah, that's awesome. So it seems like there are so many services that Volk does and will offer. So can you walk us through the roadmap? So you're correct. There are so many options and, and uh, possibilities with what we've built. However, we try to stay very focused on the way we're executing this and what we're offering. So as I told you, even though there's all these things we can do, today what we're offering and the single thing that we're proposing is PL and reporting at the wallet level. So this is all we're focused on now and we want to be the best there. The roadmap is growing from you know, the small sample of you know, blue chip protocols that we initially had when we launched to covering most of them, which will be the case um, in the next months, and adding a thousand protocols across 10 chains just for the net worth part of the of the analytics 
on the API side, which is already the case, we've already covered all of this, but also give this possibility to everyday uh, users and you know a more a less sophisticated audience, right? So in short, be the number one player on the PNL and reporting side and cover as many protocols as we can on the PNL side and on just the reporting side and the net worth, whatever is out there, right? This is the first part of the roadmap. The second one is trying to explore still on the data on the data side what are the other use cases that we can propose is it a use case around you know pool analytics and market data at large right is it understanding what are the risk uh, management use cases that we can provide to our clients and to you know the broader community in general um, this is something we've already started working on and we will see depending on you know what people ask us when and how we release them and obviously the trading part but remember we're not going to rush on the trading part before people have gotten all the value they can out of the data parts and every trading opportunity that you know we want to propose at some point will be data driven that's awesome. Thank you. Right. So speaking from a globe point of view, so we're an exchange. So what type of synergies can you see with, with exchanges? There are so many synergies with uh, exchanges and particularly with exchanges such as, such as Globe. Um, the first one that is obvious is on the data part and on the reporting and PNL. As you know, a lot of your clients are active in DeFi. Uh, a lot of your clients are trading in DeFi, whether it's with you guys or through other means. And we believe that you know we can work together into giving them this first-in-class analytics and reporting capabilities. If you go a bit further than that, you know, and you touch on the trading parts, obviously, this is super interesting in the sense that we have um, a common interest with you know any type of trader. Uh, or any type of institution that we serve, which is we want to enable them to get superior returns and to have access to the biggest range of opportunities. So there could be you know, collaborations and synergies with us integrating some of the services, whether it's through the API or any other possibility that, that uh, you offer. And uh, another one, which is that we believe if and when we go and push some strategies or some strategies are created out of the out of the data that we have and you guys can potentially work with us on creating some of these strategies or distribute them to uh, some of your clients that's awesome thanks so i believe you launched the melon app recently right yeah yep so how has the reaction been and is it does it align with what you thought it would be so f first of all, we launched it. We thought the market would be better <laughs> when we launched it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this should be relevant, right? Mm. Honestly, yeah, the, um, the reaction was very good. To be honest with you, we have done a lot of beta testing before with retail and institutional uh, traders. So we kind of knew you know, what, uh, what would be the, the reaction. People were very happy with the app. We had extremely encouraging usage. Um, and what was actually more, um, even more, you know, surprising and satisfying for us is that the metrics in terms of, you know, how long the people stay on the app, how much they come back to it, um, really encouraged us that there is some value and people need it. We got a lot of feedback as well that we needed about which protocols to add, um, which um, um, new features, you know, the market wants, where should we focus and, and uh, where should we go? So in general, it was a, um, a very satisfying uh, launch. We are never happy. We always <laughs> want it better. This is why we're launching new features. You'll see us a lot as well in media and the press very soon to try to reach a larger audience. And uh, but we're very excited about the markets. And even this bird market, I think, is a big opportunity for us. Absolutely. So it seems like you guys really listen to your community and implement changes that they recommend. So how would someone get in touch with you guys? 
Um, there are several channels, right? So obviously, for the more institutional part, they can you know reach out to us on LinkedIn or an email through the website. And we also have a Telegram group. I don't know if we can add uh, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, all of uh, the information uh, on the screen, but we have a Telegram group, we have Twitter. Uh, we have uh, a Discord as well, obviously, um, that is uh, getting more and more active uh, mm -hmm. recently, as well as the Telegram group. So anyone can reach us out from there. Uh, even myself and my co-founder were extremely you know, present and available for the community. You can even tag us, tweet, you know, on Twitter, send us a DM or we'll answer. Um, we're not on Instagram enough, but that's something that's gonna change because <laughs> I'm a huge Instagram fan. So yeah. I wanna to push that more. Uh, and then, you know, we analyze always the, the social media that, you know, where our community is um, to go and exchange with them there. Uh, and we'll see maybe TikTok one day. Oh, yeah, that would be very Gen Z. Yeah. <laughs> so right now we are in a bear market. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think are the implications of this downward trend on DeFi? So what we've seen, right, with the analytics that you know, we're working on, but also other ones, is that um, there is definitely okay, a reduction in TVL. That's, that's pretty obvious. But also the what we call blue chip protocols and the ones with the biggest TVL have an even more important, I would say, concentration and dynamics than, than before. People are obviously more risk averse and um, they want to stick to, to what they know. Um, we also see um, a lot of, uh, unfortunately, you know, we've seen a lot of uh, bankruptcies and, uh, and accidents or catastrophes in the market. Um, that people need to to be careful. So, you know, in such a market, what what um, what people I think need to be on the lookout is really analyze each trade even more than before. Uh, stick to you know protocols and opportunities that they master and that they trust. Not only in terms of metrics, in terms of sometimes you know the team behind as well as important the announcements who's involved in it um, to make sure they avoid issues and they preserve their capital. Right. Things will turn uh, soon, we all hope, but until then, Fingers crossed. You know, more analysis <laughs> and more risk management. Yeah, it's Absolutely. a good idea. Thank you. Just a quick side note, do you think we've seen the bottom? It's a tough one. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've seen the bottom, uh, but I do think that some areas of the market are uncorrelated to others. Um, for example, you know, in if you look at the uh, uh, everything that's to to do with financing projects, companies, you know, venture capital, private equity within within the space, um, this is somehow uncorrelated because there's just so many great teams, so many great projects, and so much potential that now everyone acknowledges that a lot of these players, you know, still want to get in on the opportunities and continue to support the ecosystem. Um, However, you know, you can't predict what's going to happen in the market. There is a micro picture that is out there that can influence it in one way or another. You know, the crypto fundamentals may be looking better at some point, but then you have a big, you know, TradFi event or I'm not even going to speak about the geopolitics that I'm impossible <laughs> to predict. Um, but uh, I don't think we've seen the bottom, but I do think this is my personal conviction here. Again, no investment advice that crypto will pick up faster than traditional markets. Awesome. Same way it jumped faster as well. So what do you personally think will be the next big trend in the Web3? So there's many, as you know, sub areas of Web3 that will continue to grow. DeFi, Metaverse, uh, everything has to do with gaming as well. I'm not even going to go into which one is going to grow the most because, uh, um, you know, you need a crystal ball, right, to know mm -hmm. that. But what I feel is going to fundamentally change because everyone has acknowledged that is that the user experience in all of these areas is going to fundamentally improve. Because people know that if you want to get the next 100 million or billion users in Web3, you need to change that user experience. You need, you know, people to be to have easy access you know, to DeFi or to the metaverse, 
to have the same level of you know analytics and reporting and transparency that there is in 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 other I would say more established uh, technologies or industries and people acknowledge that and all the projects that we see and speak to really have that as a priority how do I you know make it easier for people to access this really cool product that I've done is it through better user experiences on desktop to more mobile I really believe that mobile should be improved much more much more in DeFi for example so it's going to come from there um, in terms of the innovations, I mean, there are so many brains in the business are uh, working so hard that it's, you know, I have no doubt that people will come up with really cool stuff. It's so yeah. exciting to see as well. It is, it yeah, is. extremely exciting. <laughs> okay, so do you have any imparting advice for crypto traders? I mean, for traders or anyone that likes the industry, right? I'd say do your homework and your research. Uh, you know, if you see a protocol or a um, or an opportunity that you like, try to try to test it as a user before. Try to understand what's behind. Try to really look deep into the technology, the team behind it. Uh, data, data, data. As I told you, right? <laughs> I'm not saying this because we're in that space, but really do the analytics about what you're gonna do, and uh, also try to have fun. Right. Mm -hmm. Try to uh, also enjoy the rides, uh, get smarter as you as you're trading, uh, and uh, and um, if this is something that's really cool in the industry as well, if you find you know um, new ideas or you create some analysis or you um, have some findings, you know, share them with everyone. Continue writing mediums. Go on Twitter. Um, make the community live so that you know this is not all about money it's also about sharing ideas and making this industry better and yeah that's what a lot of people have been doing in crypto so they should continue yeah. <laughs> well thank you for your time thank you so much you. and uh, we'll invite you on our podcast as well oh I'd love to thank you <laughs> Thanks. thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like comment and subscribe Thank you so much, Antoine. And maybe I'll see you on your podcast next. Of course, see yeah. you very soon. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. Happy Globe Trading. Bye. Bye, guys.